Hi, uh, so my name is uh, William Oates and I'm the restaurant manager at Prime uh, Steakhouse. Um, I've been here for seven years and uh, love my job. So today I'm going to talk to you um, about our new introduction to our Prime menu and it's the exclusive uh, caviar product. So you tend to find with caviar that there's quite a few different ranges. Uh, the colours um, range from uh, between black to light grey to blue and then can also go all the way across um, to golden in colour as well. Sizes also vary. Uh, the most expensive uh, beluga caviar tends to be a little bit bigger. The fish is also bigger itself um, and more expensive. And then as you go down the chain of the sturgeons, uh, which produce the caviar, they tend to get a little bit smaller. But within each caviar range, they can be darker, a little bit lighter in colour to a blue, to a dark grey, and then also to golden as well, which changes the flavour, of course. Um, so the darker um, caviar tends to have a little bit more um, uh, sharpness in flavour and can be a touch more salty, whereas the lighter um, caviar tends to be from an older sturgeon fish, um, which creates a more creamier and buttery taste. It has to be of a, um, a certain quality and it has to come from a, um, a proper farm. There's a lot of black market caviar that goes on. Um, luckily in Australia, um, regulations for caviar are very strict, um, which is great for us. So it means that anything that does come into the country is from a certain area um, and it has to state that. With caviar, it needs to be kept very cold. Uh, so when you're storing it, it needs to be uh, stored in a fridge which is anything from minus two uh, degrees Celsius to two degrees Celsius. And it needs to be in a, a fridge which isn't open regularly to make sure that the temperature is kept at a certain level. Um, if it's ever opened, it should be consumed pretty much as then because then it gets air into the tin. The look of the caviar as well has to have a slight glossy um, colour to it. All of the, uh, the roe, the eggs, need to be of a, a, a same colour as well to, and it should in fact be from that particular sturgeon. Um, the, the fish that it came from, it has to be from that. And if there are differences in colours, then it's not a good sign. There's lots of different ways uh, in the history of caviar of how to uh, serve it and how to eat it. Um, the way that we do it is served on a beautiful tray. Uh, we have a very ornate bowl uh, with crushed ice, um, simply with the caviar put on the top. Um, we serve it with some creme fraiche, um, some uh, butter, and then also some toasted brioche. Um, the other th quite important thing as well is that caviar should never be eaten um, from a metal spoon or any metallic object because that affects the flavour and creates a metallic taste with the caviar because it's very delicate. So we use mother of pearl spoons. Um, some connoisseurs would even just put it onto the back of their hand and just put a piece, uh, there's a little spoonful there and eat it from there and that's the way to do it, just to experience the flavour.